The basic definition of business is any type of activity, whether it be related to making, buying, or selling of goods or services in exchange for money. Now, I would agree that that's a fairly solid definition, but being the philanthropic person that I strive to be, I would add that it's not always an exchange for money, as is the case with not-for-profits or charities who do so for the betterment of society and humankind. Regardless of profitability and tax status, though, all kinds of businesses exchange some type of goods and services or intellectual property for something that they deem of value, and all businesses need to be effectively managed in order to survive. My name is Erin Olson. I'm a business owner, entrepreneur, instructor, and consultant. About 20 years ago, I founded PC Keys Technology Solutions, a training and instructional design company that has kind of forged its way through many of the economic and technological changes in that time. But we've always managed to be profitable and even been recognized with a few honors like Woman Entrepreneur of the Year, Small Business of the Year, and Most Innovative Surface Company of the Year nominations. I've also worked across the gamut of businesses, from sole proprietors, professional partnerships, to some of the largest multinational corporations in the world. I've worked with government, legal, medical, manufacturing, military, petrochemical, retail, and everything in between. It is with this experience that I'm very excited to bring to you tips, tools, and techniques to manage and build your business with Microsoft Excel. Now, the definition I just gave for business is broad, to say the least. Whether you're a blooming entrepreneur working from your home with an idea that can either fill a niche in your local community or possibly change the entire world, or an employee or C-level executive working from a corporate office of a multinational company, the basics of business never change. You need to know how to do some common business tasks. These include being able to market, monitor, manage, and analyze your business. This could encompass all or part of the goods and services and the transactions related to them that you provide. It involves people, internally and externally, by and for whom you provide them. Throughout the process, you need to be able to effectively communicate business information to others. A sole proprietor who provides a service may work by him or herself and have a select clientele without a lot of other elements involved. Larger, more complex businesses may have a tremendous number of products, services, vendors, employees, locations, customers, distributors, and even advisors. But again, the basics of business are still the same. The question becomes, how are you going to monitor, manage, and analyze all of these pieces and parts so that you can make good business decisions that will help your business succeed? There are many proprietary systems to assist in these areas. But one of the most common, least expensive, and easy to use is probably sitting right at your fingertips, and that is Microsoft Excel. In this series, we're not going to focus specifically on the details of selected features of using Excel. We're instead going to focus on the specific application of Excel's tools and features to meet the needs of anyone who works in a business capacity. Since this is Excel, which is most notably known for its calculation capabilities, We'll certainly be taking a look at financial analysis, budgeting, the sales process, and how this can be simple and professionally managed and presented using Excel. In addition, we'll touch on capabilities that are often overlooked, such as the ability to create custom personalized communications using Excel contact information, how you can summarize your products and services, and analyze the demographics of your customer base. We'll even dabble a bit with how Excel can assist you in managing schedules and even your marketing efforts. If I have you all worried about some of this terminology and maybe that you're worried your business acumen is not quite up to speed, have no fear. For each chapter or topic, I'll be sure to provide an overview of any Excel or business terminology or theory that may be necessary to understand what we are doing and why. You do need to have basic Excel skills and some basic business knowledge is helpful. But this series is going to provide you a way to apply those skills and that knowledge to a wide variety of business functions so that you can better monitor, manage, and build your organization, regardless of your specific product, market, or the number of people that you serve. If that sounds exciting and useful to you, then let's go ahead and get started marketing, managing, and building your business with Excel.